here in my garage. Oops, wrong video. All right, before we get started with this next video, I'm gonna answer a couple questions and talk about some of my future plans with the, uh, with the magnet here. All right, so basically I've been looking at the frame over and over and over and over again. Uh, the swing arms, just a big chunk of steel. Um, originally what I was gonna do is I was gonna put the hardtail struts back on it that I made a long, long time ago. Uh, but I think I'm gonna kind of defer away from that this time. Um, I think I, I don't think I'm gonna go with the hardtail. I talked about um, chopping all of this right here, like from chop that and chop that, and then just run a steel bar from here to the uh, tail, to the uh, swing arm, just as a, a solid steel, and that'd be a, um, a hardtail, and then rigging up my own seat Rigging up my own like solo seat like this because this thing's fucking old. I need to get rid of that, and I need to figure out a better mount system. Like that's just so shitty. When you when you really look at this bike now, um, it's not the bike it used to be, and I didn't want to. I really didn't want to cut up this bike because I was really worried about fucking it up. You know, this is this is my pride and joy. This is my favorite bike, easily my favorite bike. But um, I think it's time. You know, I think it's time that I, uh, I put that shit aside and redo a lot of this stuff. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is dropping the motor, having just the frame, and, and kind of cutting the frame and making a, a custom uh, bobber style. Because basically all I did was I pulled off parts and then I never really cut the frame. The frame is exactly how it comes stock. Uh, so I never really did any super hard work. I even still have these fucking um, uh, rear pegs. The only reason I kept the rear pegs is because that's what's holding on the uh, exhaust pipes here, the shields. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do something cool. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I have so many ideas on what I want to do. I think I think what I'll end up doing is I'll end up chopping it somewhere around here and welding up new new suspension. So instead of a hard tail, it'd be almost like a soft tail to where uh, this just gets moved down to right about here. I'll, I'll I'll just weld up a big, really thick, beefy bracket. That way, I don't have to worry about it snapping off while going down the road. So I'll, I'll just weld up like a big chunk, like a big chunky bracket right here, and then I'll clean up with a grinder. That's where the suspension will sit instead of up here. So it'll basically move the eyes down there. That'll, in turn, that will also lower the bike a little bit, I believe. Lowering a bike is kind of weird. I'll have to get like different shocks or some shit like that. I don't really know. I'll probably have to get longer shocks to be honest. Or maybe I'll just make it back here. I, like they're like I said. Uh, but in the long term, I'd like to I'd like to cut out as much of a steep angle as possible. Get it more of like a lean angle. It'll have more of like a bobber style. And I, I don't want to do hardtail struts again uh, because my ass really hated me when it was hardtailed. I'll also cook up some some metal panels just to go here to cover up all this shit. And then, cause like a lot of this, this, like all this plastic and stuff, like the battery cover and whatnot, and this is the owner's manual and tool cover or whatever, that I don't need that anymore. Cause there's nothing in there, it's empty. Um, what I'll probably do is uh, I'll just move all of that shit, all the wiring and put it into like a small box, like a battery box and hide it somewhere either inside here. I'll make like a little cool fucking thing for it, but I'll try to do something cool. But I think I'll uh, end up dropping the motor, and then when it, when the motor's de uh, when I drop the motor, that way I can uh, kind of take it apart and clean it up a little bit too. I don't want to go super crazy with the motor because that's that's how I fuck up shit. But yeah, that's kind of my idea. I'll uh, chop it here-ish, and then remount the um, some suspension for it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna lower the rear, and then I'm gonna lower the front forks again. I used to have these forks like slammed. The forks used to be really low in the front. So that's kind of what my plans for the future are on the bike. Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to get new rims. I really like the way the spoke rims look on these type of bikes, but these are old drum brakes and I have no idea how to switch out the drum drum brakes for disc brakes. So if anyone knows how to do that, or um, you know, if it's just like really simple and I'm being stupid, let me know. But I, I really like spokes on this and I don't know how to do it. Also, I get a lot of questions what type of wire what type of welder I'm using. I'm just using a 90 amp flux wire welder. It's not great for like professional quality, but it's good for putting two pieces of metal together. Also, um, uh, when I said yesterday that I ran out of flux wire, flux wire or flux core wire is wire with pretty much the gas inside of it in the core of it. So you don't need gas tanks. So that's, that's what uh, flux core means. The GoPro doesn't run on flux wire. Um, my GoPro died and I ran out of flux core. So, uh, that's totally what I meant yesterday. Anyway. This is, this is still 
look like the Sydney Opera House to you guys? I bet it does. And yeah, they are very popcorn-y welds because, uh, the fucking flux core, that's why. And I suck at one. So yeah, those welds suck and there's gaps, but it doesn't matter because guess what? You won't see it from in here. Just gonna sit on the butt of the bike like something like that. Yeah, you just kind of kick it back like right to the hizzy. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Damn it. I'm just creating a couple of uh, brackets that I can weld onto the um, onto the bike, like right here or like right there, something like that, and that'll be where the uh, the tailpiece mounts to. I'm using a hacksaw because I didn't feel like cracking out my uh, my angle grinder. Plus, my cutting wheel is pretty much gone. Yeah, like that, ish, something like that. Oh, just weld it like that. I'm uh, I'm gonna call it good for right now. I'm not feeling very good, but uh, basically, I'm just gonna weld a little point right where you can see where the, uh, the two pieces of metal meet. I'm gonna weld a uh, a bracket there so I can just put a bolt through it and call it a day on that. And then that's what I'm gonna do next, but not today, because Dan is tired. Because Dan is lay tired. So I'm going to eat and take a nap. Oh, hello, sexy.